hey guys, Jake here, or Icy Grey, or Mr. Icy Grey, any of the above. And as part of the series of Getting to Know Me Better, I have decided to show you my complete music collection. Now, this is just the CDs that I own in my house itself. We've got like a thousand CDs, you know, the ones that my dad's got, that my mum's got, that my sister's got. But these are the ones that I've got, and you'll be able to quickly see the type of music I mainly listen to, which is different to the type of music that I actually show in my videos in the background so let's get straight into this we've got like 107 cds here to quickly go through so it's in order in alphabetical order so first one acdc black ice it's an all right album uh edema i don't even know what this one's called it's edema edema uh edema again an alternative band so acdc is like classic rock oh, there's a bit of glare there edema planets again more alternative music edema Unstable. So, AFI, and then a song of sorrow. Song of sorrow. Um, not too great. I'm not really a fan of AFI. Again, more alternative music. Alien Ant Farm. Great songs on there. Again, you should check that out if you haven't actually seen Alien Ant Farm. Uh, they've got a version of Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. So that is probably one of the most well-known songs. Event Sevenfold. Hell to the King. So now we're actually in like metal and things. And I'm sorry about the glare. We've got the window behind me. So. Event Sevenfold again, and again, this is now City of Evil, the other one was Event Sevenfold self-titled, Event Sevenfold Nightmare, oh sorry I didn't get that in there, there's a lot of great songs, I love Event Sevenfold, and then Event Sevenfold Sounding the Seventh Trumpet, um, I'm not really a fan of that album, that album's one of like, the really early ones, where they're trying to like find themselves and they're not too well known and it's not that great. Now, Axe Wound Vultures, if you don't know what Axe Wound is, it's, like, it's kind of like a super band. It's got um, the lead singer of Cancer Bats and Bullet For My Valentine in it, and it's, again, more metal and stuff. Biffy Glyro, alternative, poppy rock kind of thing. Saw them live, they're very good, I like that. Uh, Blackout, they were towards more alternative, some heavier stuff, but they've kind of now become slowly more poppy and things. This is um, the latest Black Sabbath album, Black Sabbath 13. And I'm really sorry about the glare. I need to find a place where there is no glare, but that's pretty hard because the window's right behind me, as you can see. So that one's all right if you're a Black Sabbath fan. Bless the Fool, if you haven't actually heard of Bless the Fool, they're um, pretty good. It's a mixture of metal and more slower stuff. Um, it's mostly metal, though. So again, so far, as you can see, mostly most of this stuff is actually metal or alternative rock. Blink-182, pop rock, or punk rock, whatever you want to say. Blink-182 again. Bloodhound Gang, Hooray for Boobies. Um, yeah, these songs are just mostly about sex and things. So like the Ballad of Chasey Lane, um, and Lap Dance so much better when the stripper is crying. Stuff like that. The Bad Touch is probably the one they're well known for. Birth of My Valentine, The Poison. Birth of My Valentine, Scream Aim Fire. Bullet for My Valentine, Fever. So, Bullet for My Valentine, again, more metal bands. I don't actually have the latest one, which is, uh, where is it, Temper Temper? I don't know. Uh, Chemical Brothers, this is now actually like dance, so that, it's not necessarily electronic, but it's more dance kind of thing. Again, Chemical Brothers here, we have The Night. This has got like Do It Again and Salmon a Dance, uh, whereas the other one has like Hey Boy, Hey Girl. So, Darkness next. I'm going through this quite fast guys, much faster than I do with my like game collections that I have on my main channel, the Icy Grey, uh, just because there's not too much to say, I just want to show you guys the sign of stuff that I listen to, I've got loads of other stuff actually on my iTunes that I don't own, like my dad's and stuff, but this is just the stuff I own, so Darkness Hotcakes, which is the latest Darkness album, Deftones, this is only the beast, you can actually see my face in there, hello! Um, B-sides and rarity, so it's not actually most of their proper songs. I'm actually going to move this slightly closer, so I can't really see it. Uh, Disturbed next. Disturbed are one of my favourite bands, especially when I was younger. So we've got Inside the Fire, Believe, uh, Disturbed Down with the Sickness, or the Sickness, um, Disturbed, Ten Thousand Fists, and then Asylum. I believe I got all the Disturbed albums. I think they might have a new one out, which I don't have. Got Dragon Force. Dragon Force is if you've ever played Guitar Hero, Three Legends of Rock or whatever it is, uh, Ultra Beat down there. Um, they've got Through the Fire and the Flames, and if you've never heard of that song, just Google it. Um, especially the Guitar Hero version, and yeah, you can see why people 
like that song. Drowning Pool Sinner, another great band, more alternative metal. Uh, Dragon Force are probably like progressive metal or something like that. Eminem Recovery, so this is rap, this is his, um, not his latest, the one before his latest, this has got stuff like um, Not Afraid and No Love. Ooh, uh, dropping that there. More rock alternative now, Foo Fighters, one by one. Foo Fighters, there's nothing left to lose. Foo Fighters, Waste They Light. Foo Fighters, Echo Silence, Patience and Grace. So we've got stuff like The Pretender, we've got like Rope, we've got um, Breakout and stuff like that. So we've now got Green Day, 21st Century Breakdown. Uh, this is the one before the when they released the three albums at once. And is it Uno, Do, Tre, or something like that. Um, so this has got Know Your Enemy and Each Jesus Nowhere and 21 Guns in. Again, I've got, my dad's got like the... Um, American Idiot and Duke uh, Basket Case and stuff like that. This is The Hives. If you've never heard of The Hives, just listen to one song, which is, I hate to say I told you so. It's a great song. Now, one of my favourite albums, and I've only recently just got this the other day, is Hadouken, Music for an Accelerated Culture. And really, this is just a bit like, I just really hard to describe. It's electronic, but it's kind of, preppy um it's really hard to describe so if you want to listen to a song i would listen to that boy that girl get smash gate crash um mr misfortune liquid lives driving nowhere they're just all great songs listen to that album if you can going on to k now Ooh, just locking it over as well k crang the album 09 so it's got a mixture of artists on most of which i already have cds for um but it's just a mix, compilation CD. I think it's the only compilation CD that I actually own. Kill Switch Engage, another one of my favourite bands, as Daylight Dies. Kill Switch Engage, the self titled album, I believe. Kill Switch Engage, Live or Just Breathing. Kill Switch Engage, The End of Heartbreak. And now we're up to Corn. Corn has so many albums, I don't actually have them all. But this is Corn, uh, See You on the Other Side. Corn Greatest Hits, Volume 1. So this has just got stuff like Another Brick in the Wall, Word Up, You Are One A Single, Right Now, Did My Time and stuff. So that's, if you just want a corn album to get most of the, the hits, get that one. The newer stuff with like the dubstep mixes and stuff isn't something I like. Uh, corn Issues, so this has got Falling Away From Me and Trash. And uh, Wake Up, Somebody, Someone. And then Corn, Take A Look In The Mirror. Uh, did My Time is on this one, uh, Right Now. And you're on a single, so a lot of great songs. Corn Follow the Leader. On this one, I believe, Freakin' on Leash, yeah, Freakin' Leash was on this one. And there's some other ones, like All in the Family and stuff with, like, um, Lee Singer from Limp Biscuit. I can't remember what his name is. He's in that one. So, Lost Prophets. Uh, this is the one which has Shinobi vs. Dragon Indra on, which is probably my favourite Lost Prophet song. It's also got that fake sound of progress. Um, but yeah, if you want to listen to a Lost Prophet song, I know you may not want to listen to the Lost Prophets since the lead singer has been convicted a pedophile. But if you did want it to, you can listen to um, like Last Train Home or Shinobi vs Dragon Ninja or something like that because they are actually good songs if you get past the fact that the lead singer is now a pedophile and then Lost Prophets, Liberation Transmission, which is I think their latest one. Moving on to M. We've got Medina Lake. Medina Lake are another alternative band. I'm really sorry about this glare. There's no way I can get it a off because it's so bright. Uh, Medina Lake are another alternative band. So if you're looking for bands you maybe haven't heard of, Medina Lake is a good one. And Let's Get Out of Here be the song that I suggest. My only Marilyn Manson CD I have is actually The Less We Forget The Best Of. So it's actually like a greatest hits kind of thing, which has stuff like Personal Genius, um, Mob Scene and... Uh, stuff like that. Mastodon, this is now metal. Well, you can say that Marilyn Manson's a bit metal. Um, Mastodon, again, another metal sort of album, uh, band, whatever you want to say. If you're looking for a song from here, Divinations or Oblivion would be the two I recommend from that album. It's very good. Metallica, Vertigo. Um, on this one, I believe, it's, yeah, it's got Enter Sad Man, um, Sad But True, Wherever I'm My Own. The Unforgiven, Holier Than Now, Through the Never, Nothing Else Matters, and 
that's a lot of great songs on that one. Then we've got Metallica Death Magnetic. This is the the kind of the latest one, but not the latest one. Which is then which has got like the day that never comes on, which is a pretty good song nonetheless. This is the latest one though. Metallica Through the Never. This is just um the music from the film, so it's actually just recorded live and it's just got the songs on. So it's just a live album really with old songs, it's got no new songs on there for the film. Michael Michael Romance, Free Cheers for Sweet Revenge. This is a great album. The Ghost of Views on this one. Um I'm Not Okay as well. Great songs on that one. My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade. I've actually seen My Chemical Romance live when they did this. So they did like um, Teenagers and Welcome to the Black Parade and stuff. Famous Last Words, also a great song. It's a lot of great songs on that one. Nickelback, The Silver Side Up. Um, not really a fan of this, but it's just how you remind me. This is the only one I really know on there. Sorry, you can't really see it. Nirvana Classics. This is an In, in Utero. It's very hard to say. So this has got stuff like um, Rape Me on and Heart Shaped Box. So there's a lot of great songs there. Uh, but Nirvana are always weird anyway. So it depends on what you're into. Then we've got Nirvana Unplugged in New York. So this is their live album. And this is when they're doing covers from songs as well. So a good one that they did was Plateau and The Man Who Sold the World. So if you're looking for some Nirvana songs that aren't really their own, they're just doing covers of, that's a good one to do. The Offspring Americana, uh, this has got like Pretty Fly for a White Guy and Original Pranksters on this one I think. No it's not actually, um, Original Prankster isn't on this one. Why Don't You Get a Job is though. Uh, so yeah, there's The Offspring, I thought Original Prankster was on that one. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne Scream, this is when he did his latest solo album, so this is got let me hear you scream and let it die on. We're now at peace. Alright, I need to move these closer. So we've got Papa Roach Infest. So this has got Last Resort, Dead Cell, uh, Never Enough, Blood Brothers, Revenge, Infest. So it's got a lot of great songs on that one. Papa Roach Getting Away with Murder. I do have another album on my computer. Uh, I downloaded it from iTunes with an iTunes gift card. This is stuff like Scars and that on. Paramore, so this is more poppy rock. The early stuff that I've got here, um, these two are more rock, um, but then the new ones kind of poppy as such. So, brand new eyes with Paramore. This has got Ignorance and Brick by Boring Brick. Misguided Ghost would be the poppy one. Um, all I wanted is an only, uh, the only exception of being slow ones. So, it really depends what you're into here. Paramore, all we know is Falling. This has got, uh, what's this one got on it? Uh, whoa and like pressure all we know and stuff I'm just trying to say the the singles and stuff you might know Paramore uh, self title album Fast In My Car this is the one with Ain't It Fun and Still Into You which have recently come out and that's a great album if you're into that Parkway Drive an Australian um, metal band so this is Killing With A Smile so you can see it's very it's very much focused on alternative and metal and rock but there are stuff that's poppy and dancey like Chemical Brothers and Paramore and stuff. So this has got Romance is Dead on, which is probably that single that you may know if you were a fan. Um, but that album is absolutely amazing. I love all of them. Pearl Jam is a band that I'm actually getting into. They're a classic band that you should get into. And this one is just Pearl Jam 10. And this has got Even Flow on. So if you've never heard of a Pearl Jam song, if you've never heard of Pearl Jam, Go listen to uh, Even Flow, it's a great song. Vitology, I don't really know too many other songs on here. Um, but Not For You is a good one that I like. Pendulum, so it's going to be Electronic Dance, Hold Your Colour. So this is stuff like Slam, um, I think it's Blood Sugar, yeah, is on this one, Hold Your Collar, Tarantula. So a lot of good stuff on there. This is actually just two Primal Screen albums in one. Well, in one case as it were, so this has got Screamer Delica and Give Out But Don't Give Up and probably the most famous song on this, you probably won't be able to see it, is actually Loaded from the Screamer Delica album Rage Against the Machine uh, Killing in the Name Of is on this one and Bullet in the Head so 
another classic band, Rammstein Mütter, which is a German um, metal band. So this is I've got uh, Meinhardt's Brent, which is actually in Hellboy 2, if you've ever seen Hellboy 2. Links 2, 3, 4 on this, San, Ickville, um, Fever Frey, and Adios. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication, so this has got Parallel Universe, Scar Tissue, Other Side, Californication on one of the better albums, in my opinion, Road Tripping. Um, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, Blood Sugar, Sex Magic, not too much of a fan of this one. Um, Breaking the Girl is on this and Suck My Kiss, but it's not. Under the Bridge is on this though, so that's actually a great song, but it's not something that I enjoy the most. Red Hot Chili Peppers greatest hits though, so this is where you've got Under the Bridge, Give It Away, Californication, Scar Tissue, um, Other Side, By The Way, Higher Ground, Universally Speaking and stuff. So it's got all those great songs on. That's actually, they actually did that before they've released their new albums with their new songs, so it's a bit of a weird, so they'll probably do another greatest hit soon. Rob Zombie, Hillbilly Deluxe, this has got um, Super Beast, Dragula, Living Dead Girl and stuff. This is again, more metal. I'll go to these last ones now. This is where it's going to be some metal. There's going to be some punk rock and stuff in this as well, and some just weird stuff. So first of all, Sanguine you've probably never heard of. They're a local metal band. If you want to listen to one of their songs, listen to Live Consume Drive. They actually have a music video for that. Or Innocence. There, they're two main metal songs. Uh, they've released more albums since, but I don't actually have them. Uh, Scooter jumping all over the world. This has actually got. One of his new, I think it's the latest album, I don't think he actually made one after this, where he's got The Question, um, Jumping All Over The World, and stuff, which were the, the songs that he released with music videos, but then he's also got some classic older stuff, so he's got Maria, uh, Shake That, Jigga Jigga, and Posse, The Logical Song, which is also called Ramp. So it's also got some older stuff on that one. Serge Tankin, this was his first... Solo album from System of a Down. This has got Skies Over and La 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 on that one. So if you're interested in a search, listen to that. Slash. This is actually Slash's guitar album, which he has with other people just singing the songs. So it's got like nothing to say, which is M Shadows of the Event Sevenfold. He's the singer in Event Sevenfold. So there's stuff like that. There's Iggy Pop, um, Ozzy Osbourne, Fergie. The singer was actually Beautiful Dangerous with Fergie. So you may have heard of that. Slipknot, another great band, again more metal, this has got like Free Nil, Duality, um, Vermilion, and before I forget on Slipknot, All, All Hope Is Gone, this is the one with uh, Psychosocial, so if you've seen the video of uh, the Slipknot mix between Baby and Psychosocial, this would be that Slipknot song, it's also got Dead Memories and Soul From, which are also their singles. This Slipknot album has Wait and Bleed and Liberate in the on, on, not in, so another older Slipknot song. Soil Scars, Soil is an amazing band, this, if you wanted to listen to a song from here, listen to Halo, if you wanted to listen to more than one, listen to Breaking Me Down and stuff as well. Soulfly, Soulfly, another great band, again more metal. Main song I would recommend here would be Rise of the Fallen off the album Omen. Sparzanza, um, you may have never heard of, I never heard of it, I found it in HMV, is, this album's called Death is Certain, Life is Not, it's actually a very good album, it's more alternative rock, again, um, The Fallen Ones and Legion are very good songs, so if you're looking for that, just listen to the album I would suggest, you can get it actually off YouTube, there are people who have actually put the whole album on YouTube, so you can just listen to it off there, this is Static X Shadow Zone, so this has got like Destroy All, Control It, um, Dead World, Monster, All In Wait, Kill Your Idols, it's actually such a great album, again I love Static X, I've only got one album, then we've got like the punk rock that I was saying, which is Sum 41, Does This Look Infected, so this has got um, Over My Head, it's still waiting on, um, I'm trying to think if there was any other singles, but I think that was it. Um, then the main one, Sum 41, All Killer No Filler, which has got like Fat Lip, Motivation and In Too Deep. We're nearly done. System of a Down, Toxicity. This has got the main 
singles arm of Trop Suey, Toxicity, but it's also got the great songs of Psycho, Bounce, Forest, X, Jet Pilot, Deer Dance, Needles. Great album. This is actually, is it Hypnotize? Yeah, this is Hypnotize, not Mesmerize. Unfortunately, this little strap is broken. You can get ones where you can actually like turn those wheels around, but I just got this thing here. And this is the one which has like, oh sorry, Hypnotize, She Likes Harrowing, A Lonely Day, Soldier Side, um, Attack, Dreaming. So that's also a great album. So my voice was going a bit then. Last ones, Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny. So this is off the movie soundtrack, which they obviously did themselves. So this is a very weird album. Um, this is the one before Rise of the Phoenix, which is the latest one, which I don't actually have, which has got Kickapoo and um, Car Chase City. Basically, it's just the songs from the film. I haven't actually seen the film, but the album's all right. This is their main one, Tenacious D, their first one, which has got um, I can't actually see it. It's got Tribute and Wonder Boy and that on. Trivium, my only Trivium album, although I'm a fan, I do have a Trivium album. I've got In Waves downloaded on iTunes. Uh, this has got uh, Down From The Sky on, uh, I'm trying to think of the other ones you might like, Shogun, Upon The Shores and stuff, so it's also got a DVD on that as well. Um, Weezer, the Red Album, my only Weezer song, and it's got Pork and Beans, I have actually got other Weezer albums that I've downloaded on iTunes, uh, Weezer is such a great brand. The White Stripes, um, it's the only one I've got, and I've got this just because of Blue Orchid, and where is it? Whereas um, Seven Nation Army as well, two great songs from the White Stripes. And finally, just to make it very weird, I've got Exhibit the Greatest Hits. Um, why? I don't know. But that's the last album I have. So there's my 107 CDs, which I've just gone through very fast, trying to show all the weird stuff I've got. So most of it's metal, alternative rock. There are some poppy punk rock down there. There's some alternative, alternative electric dance. And then we've got Exhibit at the end there, just doing some crappy, oh, well not crappy, it depends if you like Exhibit or not, some rap. So thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video leave a like, if you want some recommendations on music just ask me because I have loads of good bands. Like I said this is just my collection, I've obviously got albums of my parents and things, if you're looking for songs just let me know and yeah comment what you thought. This has been the series of getting to know me a bit better. And I hope you enjoyed it, so thanks for watching.